Continuing the seesaw, personal chemistry and air, please welcome Gabriel de Cristoforo. Thank you. Empty. Can you put some personal chemistry in this cup, please? You, maybe, perhaps? In the cup? No. Well, my goal today is to talk to you about how personal chemistry is like air. Like, there's real personal chemistry we can see in people, yeah? And it's just like air. There's air, but we don't really see it. You know how we know that personal chemistry is real because... Have you ever been out where you've seen that couple, you know, maybe she's nuzzling in his, in his neck and, and he's not just, hey, I'm the man. He's, I'm the man with her. <laughs> you know, they're connecting. It's good. You can see it's real and you go, wow, that's beautiful. Personal chemistry, right? You can see it. Or you're, the other day I was out at dinner with my wife and there was that couple, a couple tables down. You've seen this every now and then. The gentleman. And the lady, of course, responding. <laughs> And you get a little uncomfortable. You can feel the energy. You can feel it, right? It's real. There's a real something there. And the reason it's real is because air and personal chemistry are, are similar. I want you to think of air made of atoms. Neutrons, protons, electrons, yes? Vibrations. Real vibrations in there. Matter of fact, we are touching right now physically. Anybody watching right now, we are actually in physical contact, right? Those atoms, those, those, all those little particles of air and oxygen are touching right here for us. It's real, but you don't see it. And I'll give you the example of, of why we don't think about it that way. Consider being in a plane. If you book on time, you get a window seat, right? You're looking out, you're 30,000 feet above. So when you look out the window, maybe you can see kind of the groove of the farmland. You ever see that out the window? You kind of see, oh, the tractor went that way. Maybe you can see a couple pools outside the little houses. And if you're, if you're really at the right height, you might see a little tiny box cru cru cruising down the, the freeway. That's an 18-wheeler, oh, right? What don't you see? People. Out that window, you don't see people. You don't see any people. Yet, I promise you, somebody's signing a contract, filling their car with gas making babies, trying to, right? Those are happening even though we don't see it from that view. Personal chemistry is the same. We're connected. We're absolutely connected by that energy. And those of you who like to take notes, this would be a good opportunity. The movie, What's the Bleep? B is in boy, L-E-E-P. P is in power, question mark. What's fascinating in the movie is they illuminate on the study where they took two cups of water they surrounded one with negative words, hate, loser. They took the other cup and put love, uh, success. They froze them. Then under a microscope, they looked at the crystals of the negative keywords. And what do you think they look like? All disjointed, kind of funky, <laughs> negative. Right? And then the other keywords were beautiful, symmetrical snowflakes. Proof that the energy actually does affect the molecules of air and water. Now here's the tool I would like to you to take away. I'm a very simple person. I have a challenge for you. For three days, I'd like you to take three seconds to do this. When you come into an interaction with somebody, when you leave it, take those three seconds and just look. Was it neutral? Right? Was it an even exchange? So you're neutral? Great. Or maybe it was just nothing. Maybe you encountered that person, coworker, spouse, and nothing happened. It was just neutral. Or was it one of those where you left the meeting and it was kind of heavy? You have that, you leave and you go, God, I just feel so weighted down. That meeting was tough. And was it you or them that brought the energy down? Or are you the person that brings them up after the meeting? You know, they leave you and they go, God, I really enjoyed that meeting. I felt, I feel hopeful. As a matter of fact, I feel purposeful that something's available. Because it's real energy that's going back and forth between people. Seesaw. That's why it's called seesaw, right? Because as people, we have a seesaw back and forth. So for those of you who have the argument that the cup is half full or half empty, I'd like to actually present that this is full of air, which has energy, just like your personal chemistry. 
So my question to you as I close out this speech, now that you know your cup is full, what will you do with your cup? Thank you. We're good. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs>